popcorn reactions, showdown back with the guns, <laughs> uh, episode, uh, The Walking Dead season five, episode four, the question is, who's in the woods with Daryl? Where is Carol? And why do their names rhyme together? Those are the questions that I need answered in this episode. Um, Rick is not crazy, but he, you know what I like about Rick? He is crazy, but he, he he's still sane. And he's, he's got a lot of good intent in him. But what I always take away from his character is that he done been through the shit. And he done, he has dealt with some of the worst people for whatever reason. And so it is hardened him to the point where every time he doesn't take a step that he wanted to, it ends in some shit. Like Bob, for instance. And I think in the long run, maybe not right now, that's going to affect him. You remember at time there was a time where Rick was second guessing himself. He got through it, but we're not gonna go back to that Rick. Let's see what happens. Damn, how the fuck she get out there? Oh, they kidnapped her. Put it down. Drop it right now. What? That's a cop cop. How did I get here? My officers found you on the side of the road, surrounded by rotters. The man I was with, is he here too? You were alone. She's gonna be a problem. I can tell you that right now, Beth. Beth is alive and in Atlanta. Ain't that a bitch? She is in Atlanta with the police. <laughs> I didn't even know there was police in The Walking Dead. A couple of them out there were on a run about a week ago. They found two boxes of Bisquick and a Merle Haggard tape at a truck stop. Wow. This dude is still being a doctor and they still the police. They got clipboards and shit. And they, is that a fucking janitor? And a zombie apocalypse. A janitor. Man, they did try to save, buddy. They do a lot. They they do more than anybody else. Anybody. It's the fastest way down. <laughs> Oh, the fucking cafeteria is open? We had a lead on some guns, so me and my partner were pretty far out. But I got there first. God. Even in a zombie apocalypse, this asshole is still an asshole. Unless you want me to write down everything you're taking. We'll find Joan. Until then, you've got laundry duty. Is that everybody hates Chris? Or does everybody love Chris? Nobody hates Chris. I used to feel like I was drowning in research. It's one of the few perks I get for being the only doctor here. Have you ever tried guinea pig? Guinea pig? I didn't think so. Gotta eat what you got. <laughs> it's good enough for Peru. I fell from a first floor apartment trying to get away from some. Okay, plug the EKG in the ultrasound of that battery pack, go. Good. Good, good, good. Now attach it to the patient. You know him? This was a waste of resources. <sighs> I'd have smacked that ass back. They'd have killed me. Oh, they'd have killed me right there. Ah, uh, Noah left you a new shirt. And what's wrong with this one? She likes things neat. Mm, fuck that. His name is Gorman. <laughs> ah! Is that lamb the hell out? No, we're not gonna let you die. We are not gonna let you turn. Do you want her to die? Beth, we need you to hold her down. This fucking cop lady is crazy. Damn. Well, oh, Chris, iron clothes. Thanks for that. Figure you'd use a pick me up. After this morning, it's the longest time I actually believed them. Welcome to the ground floor of Grady Memorial Hospital. This isn't a way out. There isn't one. Uh, this is why. There's no way out this motherfucker. Don't tell me no motherfucking stories. Now they're on the roof, you're telling a story. They had orders to clear the hospital and move everyone to Butler Park close to midnight when we heard the jets the bombs and you was in the hospital this whole time 
see people who needed help. Barely holding on, but napalm burns in his clothes, his skin. You're not the problem. We lost people. Shit. She took care of him. I figured she wasn't in charge. Outside these walls, alone, unprotected, they'd be dead, we'd be dead. That's for damn sure. How about you look in a Mr. Trevor call it a day? Okay. He's stable due for another 75 milligrams of clothes of me. That looks weird. Yeah, she know how to do that shit. Oh, you gave him the wrong shit. No. Beth left to get some gauze. I was mopping. I must have unplugged the ventilator somehow. It, it only but stopped that's... for a minute. I got it working again. Well, you, you gave him clonazepam, right? You said clozapine. No. I didn't. And the fuck do you want? Probably my best worker. But that story he told about the ventilator. So what you what do we do now? The second it isn't, the second we lose sight of that, it's all over. A crazy ass. I am strong. How many people had to risk their lives to save you? I was I should have left my ass out there. The wards keep my officers happy. He wants you to give Officer Goof Goof Troop. And after they rescue us, we're gonna help put the world back together. Because we're the ones holding on. That's the good we're doing here. So what's she trying to say to you? Y'all gotta get the fuck up out of, out of fucking hospital prison. Don't need a Trevor for something. I know that's what that was about. But she keeps a spare key to the elevator bank somewhere in the office. They getting the fuck up out of here. Beating people up. Talking about keeping people happy. Everybody that work for you, you need to take care of, stupid. Stop looking so damn obvious. And don't do something goofy like knock something over. Oh, shit. Did herself in. Oh, shit. Hey there. No. Damn, Officer Tubby Tubby. I hope I'm not interrupting. A little win win for both of us. Hmm. She's still alive. She's not such a team player. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hit his ass with a jar guy. Oh, it's time to bounce. That's what you get, you nasty ass. Your nasty ass. I saw her and Gorman headed towards your office. Thank you, Beth. <laughs> she looked weird. I saw her looking through it at the office. What is wrong with you? Who, me? You're safe. Calm down. Okay. Beth, you crazy as hell. Now he dropped you, that's it. <laughs> Not to mention that somebody fucking... <laughs> Y'all crazy asses. <laughs> Boy, don't fall down there. Oh, man. Oh, everybody hates God. Damn, Chris. <laughs> Gotta stop breathing so goddamn hard. <laughs> I know it ain't easy, but shit. <laughs> lives is at stake. Well, lives is gonna be on stake. <laughs> shit. That's right, she can shoot. Now what? I figured that was going to happen. Them soft ass converse ain't stomping no heads down. And she got on pro cast. I think she got cons. You should be out of bullets by now. It's going to be the doctor. Yeah. 
I didn't even know they was out there. You know what's happening here, and you let it happen. You're no one's coming. You need a reality check, Dawn. We're all gonna die, and you let this happen for nothing. Yeah, mm, that was coming. Should be ready to jump back into it in a couple more days. How'd you know Trevitt was a doctor? I figured it was something like that. Because if he had lived, there'd be another doctor and Don wouldn't need you. So that's why you did that. Trevitt was an oncologist at St. Ignatius. They would have kicked me out. Maybe, maybe Gorman. When they arrested Christ, Peter denied <clears throat> being one of his disciples. They would have crucified him too. I ain't even catch that shit. I don't remember what he I don't remember what he told her to give him. Have a Carol! That's where she went. Well who's in the woods with him? With Daryl. Oh, we well, ain't get that. That's who's in the woods. So who's okay, this is good. I like this. Season five, episode four. I like this. I like this. I didn't mind this episode at all. You know, it was time for a little. Let's see how 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 big this world still is in a sense. Motherfucking Carol. I didn't even know she was gone. In, in terms of her and Daryl separated, of course they'll show that. We'll get to see what happened with them too. Uh, let me know what you thought about this episode. Different touch of pace. I didn't mind it at all. Hell, we didn't know what the hell happened to Beth. Let's watch the next episode. Popcorn reactions on the showdown. I'm gonna leave a link. You can watch the first season, the second season. It's all there. Indulge yourself. I'll be right here. Ain't going nowhere. Don't mess with me. <laughs>